What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. It's time for some more indie games. Today we're checking out Ratropolis, a city building game where you play a bunch of rats trying to hold back the hordes of darkness that are trying to they're trying to mess with your groove, man. And you can't have somebody's groove thrown off like that, especially when you're just chilling and ratting out. I love rats. I had pet rats growing up. Fantastic little guys, incredibly intelligent, smarter than just about anything you give them credit for. Those little dudes definitely know how to work the world to their own favor. And so I've always been a fan. So let's start the game, shall we? We've got to select our leader. So we've only got the merchant leader for right now. The merchant is a trader, has accumulated tremendous wealth and trade in the past, but has lost all of the assets collected as the city was destroyed. So we receive a 25% discount when we buy a card to a merchant, and then we've also got deal. Discard all cards in your hands, you get 3% of your gold per discard card. Okay. Uh, do you want to proceed with the tutorial? Sure, why not? Yeah, let's, let's have a tutorial. I like being taught what I'm doing before I get all in on this situation. Good morning! Here are five cards to help you manage the new settlement, but you need gold in order to use the cards. Okay, the amount of gold you have is displayed at the top left of the screen. We collect taxes every five seconds, but we always come up short. Green cards are economic cards that help you earn additional gold. Try dragging the cheese card and get some gold, okay? Nice. So we get 30 for each cheese card in my hand. Wonderful. According to the reports, enemies are approaching from this direction. Okay. Red card is a military card that helps you recruit military personnel. We need to recruit military personnel to defend against the invasion. Okay. In addition to gold, military cards will require ratizens of the city. The maximum number of available ratizens is shown at the top left. At the moment, there are plenty of ratizens. Okay. Let's have some guards. There we go. That guard does not look very well equipped. After attacking the defensive wall, all military units deployed on the selected wall can be relocated to an adjacent defensive wall through the move command on the wall. Okay. So it's like it's like Kingdom, except I can actively be like, yeah, you guys, go over there. The defensive wall is destroyed. The Radizen is not enough. You cannot use a military card. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, we can also build with the brown cards. Okay, buildings continue to provide useful effects, but building cards are removed after use. Building cards can only be used inside of territories. All right, well, let's make like a little... Yeah, let's make like a little rat home. Oh, it's so... Look how little it is! A little tiny rat house! When you run out of land to build on, you gotta look for a stump. You can extend your territory by placing a defensive wall card on the stump. Looks like you've run out of cards. Press the redraw button or spacebar to pull more cards out of the card bag. All right, cool. Sounds good. You have to pay gold to draw again. You can use your leader ability with a delay. Use it strategically. Yeah, our leader ability throws all these out and gives us a little bit of money so that we can redraw maybe. You can swipe to the screen to the left or the right. Use A or D keys. Oh, so apparently they're planning to do this on mobile. That's a little translational issue. Okay. I mean, either way, it doesn't feel like a mobile game. Well, what's inside of here? We've got a couple of cheeses. What is this? My card bag? Keep the cards to be drew up next. If any cards left to draw, bring the cards from the card tomb. Aw, oh, dude, I got people over here. Here, you go over to this side. Yeah, go go over there. Oh, we got some more guards right here. I'll probably put them on that wall so that we have, like, a backup plan. We've got militia over here. I don't think we have enough Radisons. Plus 10 per card in your hand. So that'd be 40 gold. Yeah, let's do it. I like money. Money's good. We have grain. Oh, my God, there's little bad guys all over the place. How hard are they to kill? Are they, like, super gangster, or are they, like, messing us up right now? They don't look like they're that gangster. All right, we're all right. The enemy has been defeated, and our tails are safe for now. Let's open the treasure chest and see what we got. All right, cool. So we can build a house. Yeah, give me a house card. I'll take a house card. House card sounds good. Um, I don't have any cards right there. Let's see. We pay five, and then 50 seconds later, we get 60 gold. Let's do that. That sounds like a good thing to prep for. We got another attack coming from that side. All right, bring these dudes over. A merchant has come to the settlement. Merchants visit us periodically and sell a variety of cards. Okay. Um, we've got vines. They last for eight seconds to slow enemies down. We've got a defensive wall on a stump, so that would allow us to expand our territory. Uh, we've got farm right here, which means that it's a building. Every 120 seconds, we get more gold. We've got a couple of farm cards right there, actually. We can also get some more guards. That might not be a bad idea. We've also got a Berserker, deal damage or double damage when other rats die, or we can get a rando card. Uh, give me the guards, and give me the farm, I guess. Uh, and then we will redraw for right now. 
And we got an attack coming from over there, so you guys should probably relocate. We got a few more guards on this side, so let's add another guard. We got a farm right there, which we're gonna need money for. We can also do a house. I think I may have overspent money a little bit. I may, I may have overspent, all right? It, it's a slight possibility that I went in a little too hard financially. Wonder if we get repair cards or something that allow us to fix this stuff. Dude, they're like getting through right now. You should probably kill them. Uh, I will take gold because I'm broke right now and I need to get a farm built. Let's have a farm placed right there because I need money. And every X amount of time, that's going to give us an extra influx of cash, which sounds really good to me. So that wall is not looking great right now. Put down another house right there because more taxes and more ratizens are always good. I think this will give us 60. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll redraw and see what we pull out here. Now we've got guards. That's nice. Yeah, put in some more guards. I want us to be nice and defended. I like the little voices they have. I like the little voices. The voices are adorable. Like, I like their little voices. Like, they're little warrior rats. Like, make no mistake, they are murdering and pillaging right now in the defense of their home. But at the same time, we can delete a card, we can build a house, we can get some money. Let's get some money. Let's see here. Discard all the cards in your hand. We got a potter over here. Ten per gold in your hand. I mean, it's 30 gold. It's 30 gold. We can do that. And we've got grain. Yeah, play that. That's nice. And we've got another attack coming from that side. I don't know how I fix the walls. But let's add a little militia man. Oh, he's out front. He's like an outside the gate fighter. He's like a little outside the gate gangster. All right, I feel it. I feel it. Uh, we got some cheeses over here. Definitely going to make use of those. Make use of that. We got some more guards, too, so I'll play that. And then we'll play grain, too, so that we get that influx of cash coming. And then... I don't really care about the six gold, I guess. I'm not really too worried about that. That's a big, that's a big dude right there. Oh my god, they killed him so quickly. Like, they didn't even entertain that guy. Uh, let's see here. Boss, the families of those killed in battle cry out in sorrow and demand just payment as well as burial rights. Rats clinging to the bodies of war casualties fill the streets in front of the town hall. Their demands are accepted by many, but we're currently short on funds. What should we do? Um... Oh, the picture is so sad, though. It's like the little baby rat is crying over her rat dad dying. Man. Normally, if I call somebody a rat dad, that would be an insult. But this time around, it's actually not. Uh, give him a proper burial. That's fine. We have money. I can always get more. There we go. Oh, you dudes should probably be on this wall over here. You should probably do that. Let's recycle our cards real fast. I like how it's card-based gameplay with building. I like that. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying that. We got wave five coming in. Did I get any more guards? I was going to say, we're going to need some more guards out here. Oh, I should have played the potter first. All right, give me a militia, too. Oh, my God. The militia. Oh, no. What happened to repair a damaged building? Use the tool icon. Oh my god, they jumped over the wall like they didn't even care. Yeah, we better figure something out. You better give my man a guard over here. Damn! They jumped over the wall with a quickness! How was I supposed to- we had so many guards- How was I supposed to do that? Oh no. Alright, we got this. So we've got the general leader now. Unlocked after playing the game. Has a lot of combat experience, plus three ratizens for every military card that you have. And then we can also give our leader level to military cards in our hand. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, we can not do the tutorial this time because I've got an idea what we're doing now. I've got an idea, but that can, life comes at you fast, man. Life comes at you fast, no lie. All right, we're going to play cheese. We're going to play the militia over there. We're going to play the house right there so we can get a few more ratizens. I'm going to play... Oh, I don't have the money for that. Lame. super dee doo dee Lame. Let's go ahead and cycle our hand real fast. Got some more guards right there. That sounds good. We've got grain. Definitely want to play that. I uh, should have played Potter first, but I didn't because I'm a ditz. We'll put that in right there. That's a militia guy. I don't see that as being that helpful, but let's see here. We can give extra strength to our military cards so we can basically tell them to push and hold the line. Nice. Uh, we've got some more militia over here. 
Let's go ahead and drop another militia. We'll put another grain card in play. We've got a little bit of cheese coming in right there. Very nice, but we just got to kind of like, eh, let's go ahead and redraw anyways. I'll spend some money. We got some more guards right here. Let's play those on the wall. Grain. Uh, Should have played Potter again. I wasn't paying attention. Let's go with leader level up. Moderately initializes the cool time, or we can get a card. Um, let's get a free house for... Actually, I feel like we're okay on Radizens. Let's get a card. Uh, so we've got fruit, or we've got gather, or we've got cheese. Let's go with fruit. I like the idea of having a few more cards that just, like, generate money for me for freebie weebies. Uh, let's see here. Cycle our cards real fast. We've got more militia. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys need to come over here. I'm going to put militia on the wall right there. We'll play grain. We'll play fruit. We'll play cheese, and then we've just got to kind of like hang out. Oh, we got a card vendor. Card vendor. All right, so what money do I have right now? We've got defensive wall. Build a defensive wall on the stump. It has 200 HP. We've got a beehive every 40 seconds. We can activate the bees to fight our enemies. Well, you're speaking my language now. I mean... I'll take both those. And as soon as this is ready to go, we got some more guards right there. I don't have any money, though. I need taxes to come through. There we go. Give me another guard over on this side. Uh, build a farm, please, so that I have more money coming in. I think all the time that I spent, like, reading cards and whatnot on the previous playthrough probably got me in trouble. Uh, so that's good to go right there. The potter, once again, didn't see it until too late. Uh, we do have a beehive right here, so we should probably do that. We can take some cards. We can take some money. We're a little bit low on cash right now, so I'm going to take the money. I mean, we do have an influx coming, so that'll be nice. Uh, there's potter right there, so we'll play that. We'll play grain. We'll play cheese, and then we'll play guards on that side so that we have more people just kind of hanging out doing their thing. Could definitely, probably... Oh, yep, recycle again. Sounds good. Do your thing. We got more militia right there. We got more guards right there. I'm trying to keep us safe out here. I'm trying to protect our society. We live in a society, chat. A rat society. Let's go ahead and cycle. All right, play the potter first. Play the cheese. We got grain and fruit. We got a lot of money coming through, but not a lot of military on that one. You guys just, like, do your thing over here. All right. So, after safely escaping the collapsed settlement, we began searching for a safe haven. Rats suspicious of their leadership scattered to the underground. It's just establishing a new settlement to continue a civilized life. Now you must secure your new settlement. Unfortunately, the old one was too poor, and we could not scavenge anything useful. Okay. So you got to survive ten waves. Let's get some cards. Let's do that. We got Rough Work. Summon a gold ore that gives two gold per click. We've got Ambush, which is 30 damage to a specified enemy. I'm going to take the house, I guess. All right, so we've got a house. I think we should probably deploy that. There's our next house. We need some more Radizens. We need some more guards, too. That would all be fantastic. I'll take all of that. Sounds great. Let's see what enemies decide to roll out on us over here. We actually have, like, a considerable army this time around. We'll play Potter first. Fruit. Cheese and grain. We're not getting hit from that side, right? All right, send out the bees! So the bees just, like, stun things? Aw, oh, weak, dude. I thought the bees were actually going to, like, deal damage. Yeah, you don't want to fight the big guys, I don't think. The big guys, they're trying to belly bump their way around right now, but it might get dangerous. Uh, a devastating plague has struck the city. Deathly silence befalls the settlement, and the streets are laden with despair. As you wonder how to handle the unforeseen crisis, a rat with a strange mask approaches you. There is only one solution to the catastrophe. The sick will die, and they will rise as monsters that attack all that you hold dear. We need to cleanse them. Uh, expel them from the city? Boss, the families of those killed in battle cry out in sorrow and demand just payment. We already got this one. So let's give them a proper burial, since we have lots and lots of gold. Over here, we can remove cards. Let me see what else we have. Let me get convert units placed on the defensive wall into a free ephemeral card. I don't know what that means, but we'll try it. That sounds pretty sweet. Uh, let's cycle our deck real fast, too, and see if we can get some more guys. Uh, give me some guards. Give me some militia. 
Give me some cheesy cards right there. All right, we've been cheesy carded out. This guy's trying to sell us some stuff. We can get a defensive wall that allows us to push out further, but we haven't really used any of our stuff. 70 gold when you redraw, minus one card when you redraw. Okay. We got battle cry, plus three attacks. Yeah, that might be good. Or repair. That's a really good card. I'm going to take repair for sure. And maybe battle cry. And then... We'll take an extra defensive wall too. Why not? Oh, I got to put it on a defensive wall? What? So does it give me like a whole bunch of ghost mice? Is that what that did? I'm not entirely sure what that accomplished. But these guys are going to be on the wall in like just a minute. So we kind of need to get on top of that. Um, I would like to have, yeah, level up my leader. Why not? You guys jump over my wall. I'm going to be very upset with you. Oh, I had Potter again. Uh, probably defend the wall right there. Yeah, it seems like an okay plan. Yeah, you guys get to throwing some spears at him. That'd be great. Just kind of, you know, eliminate whatever those are. I don't exactly know, but I would love for them to be dead. Oh, that looks like a boss. Okay, repair the wall. We've got grain. How long do they get that during 15 seconds? Okay, we're going to need Battle Cry. We're also probably going to need that ability right there. As soon as the fighting starts. There we go. Yep, everybody do your thing. That's a, that's a big attack right there, and I don't like it very much, and my entire militia is dead. My heart hurts. Uh, we can get a farmer. 50% gold from grain, fruit, livestock, and brewing cards. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can get two house cards, or we can get a card upgrade. get two house cards all right so we got Potter that always plays first we've got fruit we got defensive wall over there I do think that that's a pretty good idea all right we were scouting around the new territory and found a hideout built inside a tree when you knocked on the door a small voice leaked through the door shoo there is no food to offer or any free space please do us a favor and leave us alone you have noticed that the owner of the voice possesses a good heart and you want to recruit him for no reason. <laughs> the translation in this game kind of cracks me up. <laughs> you want to recruit him for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I'm guessing that in whatever language this game was in, uh, it was more along the lines of you want to recruit him because of his good heart or something like that. Uh, but we just, I, actually, let him hold off. So we'll give him an advisor. What does an advisor do? Oh, cool. He gives us plus two to our leader level? That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Give me a, give me another mouse house over here. Uh, I'm also going to need, like, guards and militia and, like, a whole bunch of other stuff. Please. Oh, dude, those little spitty things are rough, man. Oh, I think we're toast. Those little spitty guys are gnarly. Yeah, I guess redraw. We'll see what we have here. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot. I do have my special ability, but we're about to be attacked again, so... That's going to be a hard yikes for me. Oh, no, they got it through the other side. Did they jump the fence? Oh, weak, dude. I like the game. I, I definitely think there's some little balancing things that need to be done, but at the same time, I'm enjoying like the core gameplay loop of combining like a card game with a city builder. It's a very, very interesting thing that I think works very, very well, surprisingly well, based on what I've seen so far. Let's give it another run, and we'll kind of see how this whole thing goes in Ratropolis, but I definitely think we're playing a very early alpha right now, and like, there's definitely some balancing and things to be done in the near future. But at the same time, I am liking the game a lot. I, you can see the idea here, and really that's the point of an alpha, is to kind of put the idea out there and get people interested. Uh, we'll play a grain card. We'll put some guards over here. I need to be rotating this, like, with a quickness, though. Like, this needs to be rotating, like, rapidly. All right, so we got cheese. We'll play both those to get our money up. Uh, we're getting attacked from the other side, so you guys go over there. I'll put some militia over here for right now. 
Bum, 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 bum. The game is also like super adorable with the way that it presents itself to the player with all the little card arts and everything else. Like, it, it, it's kind of adorable. You're like, all right, I can feel this. Uh, we'll play Potter, obviously. We'll play Cheese, Cheese, Grain, and then we'll use some of that extra money to recycle like right now. Uh, just because it's faster. We'll get Militia, Gars, we'll play both those, and we will recycle again. Over on that side, we had a chest. I clicked on it. There we go. I can level up my leader. I can get a card or I can get a house. Let's get a house for right now. Uh, we're going to play Militia. Should have played Potter. Play Grain. Cycle that. Uh, we need all these guys to go back over to the other wall. We didn't get a Potter right there, but we did get a couple of cheeses, so that's great. And then we'll put some guards on that wall. Recycle that again. Uh, we've got a potter. Obviously, that gets played first. We'll put the grain out and then another militia. We'll cycle it. We're still good on money. Uh, we've got more militia. We've got grain, guards, cheese. A little bit of cash coming in. I'm going to wait for this one to reset because the price is getting too high. I don't want to pay 40 bucks. Where did that merchant go? Is he still out here? I thought I saw a merchant. Did I see a merchant or am I just like a crazy person? I thought I saw a merchant. I'm trying to make use of him. And we got the potter, so we'll play that. We'll play that. And we need you. Uh, give me another house, because I'm almost out of military, guys. And then not enough Radisons in the city. Oh, yeah, they're all doing farming tasks right now. Yeah, they're all farming their little rat butts off. I haven't been paying attention to my allotment of rat cards very well. Uh, let's put another rat house in. These guys are hanging out over here. I didn't see Potter right there. That was my bad. We'll pay the 40 bucks. Um. Play that, play Militia, play that, get our cheese back. 60 bucks to play this one right here. Obviously, we need to play Potter about as soon as possible. Play both those. I think most of our profits are going to be stuck, so let's let this reset for a minute. Very nice. After safely escaping... Okay, cool. Let's rule for a long time. We already got that one. Uh, let me get a... New card, I guess. We've got a watchtower. Fires an arrow that deals five damage to the enemy every one second. Yes. Absolutely. Now, the medic sounds pretty cool, too, but we'll go with the watchtower right there. We're getting hit from this side again. All right, sounds good. I mean, it doesn't sound good, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It doesn't sound good. It sounds awful, like we're under constant attack, but for right now... Oh, we got the watchtower, too. Yeah, put in the watchtower over here. There you go. Get that thing built on up. Get it built on up, my Bruda. Um, I need something right now. I don't know exactly what I need, but I need something. We'll put up the grain card, I guess. Oh, I forgot about Potter. We're actually doing pretty solidly well right now. I don't think anybody died, but... We'll remove a card. Removing a card is like a freebie. That kind of makes life easier. Um, we can do... I don't really want to get rid of any of these. Yeah. I guess we can get rid of a cheese card. Yeah, that might have been a horrible fundamental mistake, but... Give me another house card, please. We don't have enough mice running around right now. I definitely could use more Mises. There we go. We're going to generate a little bit less money. A merchant's arrived. Very nice. Okay, so we've got pike rats that slow the enemy down. I think that's a good idea. We need, like, better upgraded units, I guess. So I'll buy the pike rat. We've got another watchtower. We've got a mine right there. We could get another curtain wall. We've got labor, so we've got livestock. We can use rabbits, I guess. Okay. Uh, give me another guard card, too, I suppose. I'm going to try and preserve all of our stuff for when we get, like, better things. Or, I'm sorry. I'm going to try and preserve all of our money and our resources uh, for pike rats. I'm going to try to put this over here so that at least we have some kind of backup over there. 
these things jump over walls, which makes them just like the worst. But every time we play the game, we're getting like new cards and unlocking new things that are making it a little bit easier. Like you'll recall that wave right there killed us the last time we played, whereas this time around it's not quite so bad. Uh, give me a hundred gold, please. We're a little low on monies. Um, probably just wait this one out. Like, guards and everything are cool, but I'd rather have the pike rats if we can. Yeah, exactly. So, like, the more pike rats I can play, the happier I'll be. But let's get grain rocking right there. We got a few more guards. As long as we have the pike rats, I think we should be good. But it's starting to get expensive to cycle the deck, so, like, we're gonna have to slow it down and only take what we get for the moment. Play guards right there. We got a big invasion coming. Big old nasty invasion coming. It's a very rapid fire game, but that's actually what I kind of like about it is that you've actually got to play pretty quickly if you want to get it done. Uh, give me Potter. Give me another Pike Rat. Uh, since obviously they're like upgraded versions of what we have already and they hit the enemy before they get close. But we can expand our territory, get two house cards. We can get a recorder, which lowers our redraw cost, or we can get a legendary card. Let's get a legendary card. So we've got research. After 60 seconds, you can upgrade a random card. Ooh, we've got a Ooh, we've got a They should have named that a Mouseketeer. Like, let's be honest. It probably would have led to mitigation, or it probably would have led to some kind of litigation from Disney. But at the same time, like, it's got to be a Mouseketeer. Like, I'm taking the Mouseketeer. We're doing it. The pun is too good for me not to take the Mouseketeer, all right? There's our guy and another pike rat on this side, too. Oh, I think we're getting the hang of it. Oh, I don't have enough ratisons. I gotta wait for that to get done. There's our money. Put another one up so that we got like a constant flow of cash. This is a unique idea for the game, for a game, and I really, really like it actually. They did a good job. Despite the translational issues, I can see myself getting addicted already, and despite the rough edges of the alpha. So this is called Ratropolis. If you guys wanted to play it, uh, you can go get it right now on itch.io. They have the, they've got the, uh, they've got the download link, and you can just play the game. Uh, it's currently in development. This is kind of the early alpha tech demo proof of concept, essentially. And frankly, I think they did a really, really good job. This one surprised me. It's an interesting hybrid of city builder and card game. And I did not think that idea was going to work. And it worked out pretty well. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. If you don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so that you don't have to. I appreciate you all stopping on by and uh, enjoying the videos. Hi do and take care everybody. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you want to support the channel and help me continue to be a content creator. And other than that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.